Hi Capricorn, welcome to your mid-December reading. My name is Amy. I am so glad you're here today. Uh, we are doing a general reading for uh, Capricorn. Keep in mind, like I said, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, we do offer private readings. All that information and our social media is in the description box below. Probably up on the screen as well. All right, Capricorn, let's get a card from my Sacred Rebels deck, and then we're going to read a bit about it as Spirit directs, okay? All right. What can we get for Capricorn? What's going on with Capricorn? Hmm, all right. One card, please. No, I'm going to cut it. All right. One card. That one? Okay, Legacy of Light. All right. Wow. <clears throat> so, Capricorn, you are really thinking about your life purpose. You're thinking about bigger things right now, Capricorn. Uh, let's uh, read what Spirit has for us in this little, <clears throat> this beautiful card here. Let's see. You are being asked to honor the legacy of light that is your sacred birthright. Take nourishment and support from those that have come before you. Your ancestral lines not only in blood, but also in spirit. Perhaps these are the beings that have inspired and motivated you to live as a sacred rebel from your heart and with belief in yourself. The more you are nourished by this legacy of light from your past, the more you become a bearer of the legacy for those that will be supported by your light in the future. This is sacred. This is a sacred endowment from the great universe source of light to humanity. It is a light of wisdom, creativity, radical courage, love, and respect that is passed down from the heart of each generation to the next. The leg legacy of light is your spiritual birthright to refine and shine your essence into the world, to be like a sun, radiant and unapologetic of your nature. It's beautiful. So, Capricorn, I feel like you have, um, you may have family on your mind. I know um, the social distancing that many are having to do around the holidays uh, when this is being recorded. It, you know, it's a drag. <laughs> you know, and you're, you're feeling that. You're feeling that absence. But there's something that spirit is really trying to call you to. And um, there may be some stuff in your past that you need to deal with. To allow the healing to happen and to release I'm hearing like some ancestral soul ties like some um, some patterns within maybe your family that you're trying to heal and before you can heal it with anyone who it has affected you have to heal it within yourself Capricorn okay yeah a lot of healing energy coming through for you guys okay yeah okay all right. Okay. So first we have Lord, uh, we have the seven of Pentacles, Lord of success unfulfilled and Lord of material trouble. So many of you are feeling the energy of lack right now. Uh, and you know, for a lot of us, many people lose their in their jobs. Uh, they're having to survive on less. Maybe the financial abundance that you got used to has been restricted in some way. And, um, it's causing you a lot of stress Capricorn. And, this may be the uh, generational ancestral uh, pattern repeating, I'm hearing, a pattern of maybe poverty or a pattern of lack. And this is something that you have the opportunity to heal, okay? There's a lot of, um, well, there's two queens and a king here on the table. So there's a lot of regalness about you, okay? Um, and there's a lot of energy coming towards you that has purpose, all right, so, uh, okay, so how do we get out of this mindset of not having enough love, people, places, things? How, how do we, how, when, when we're surrounded by it, when we're still feeling it? And there's a need here to really, um, okay, there is a peace that comes when you can look at your environment, and even though you see the flaws, even though you feel the lack, you find a way to be, to find happiness in that place of lack, okay? Finding joy in the small things and in your connections to people. I feel like this, um, this lack energy, this, um, 
poverty, sickness, just always having obstacles up against you. Um, this is there because there is a need for uh, emotional, emotional exchange. There, there's a need for emotional expression within this family uh, dynamic. This, um, and it goes back. Uh, and I think it goes back because of the way your ancestors were treated and because of the way, wow, this is heavy, man. I feel this. Woo, I feel this Capricorn. Wow. Um, your ancestors really were put through hell on earth. And uh, because of that, in order to survive, uh, they had to kind of shut off this emotional uh, outlet. So... They couldn't really express emotion, not a lot of uh, hugging, not a lot of I love yous. And uh, that lack of connection manifests into the world as lack of things, lack of opportunities, lack of real forward motion, so generational lack. And so now it's time to connect to this Queen of Wands energy. Uh, many of you may have fire in your chart, Capricorn. I'm feeling like uh, this is advice about getting into your natal chart. Okay, this is going to help you get out of this really intense um, energy here. So let's say you have fire in your chart. So you have Aries, Leo, um, Sagittarius, all right? And um, it can be one plant. It doesn't matter. It can be an aspect. You can actually access any of the energies of the zodiac at any time to help you manifest and help you change your frequency. But it's much, for me personally, the first way I did it was through my own natal chart because I resonated so much with what was in my natal chart. So uh, let's say that you have a Leo rising. I have Leo rising. So let's say you have a fire sign rising. So you can take a lot of this lack energy and allow the action that comes from a fire sign to really come over and kind of take over it. Like, give it over to that energy. So how do you connect with the fire? You find what lights you up. You, that could be music. That could be writing. You find what you want to create. You find what makes you passionate. And you get some joy in that. You start doing those things that make you passionate. Doing those things that make you happy. Doing those things that inspire you. Okay. So let's say that you have, uh, you have pinnacle energy here. So you have other you have other um, earth signs in your chart. So maybe you're an earth sign dominant chart, natal chart. So, so what you would do is you would find, say you have Virgo. Virgo is great for stuff like this because Virgo energy, when you, when you connect with it uh, and you really understand it, read about it. What do I mean by connect with it? Read about it. Meditate on it. Think about it. Think about the parts of you that are Virgo-like, okay? Those parts of you that are Virgo light, you can access those and expand them by allowing Virgo to tell you how to handle this. And Virgo, Virgo with lack, woo, they, they will make you a list of what needs to be done. It's great. It's, it's awesome. Uh, they will get it done and they will help you. So, and then let's say you have um, water. Let's say you have a lot of water, Capricorn. So you can access um, your deep well of emotion that, and really this for this particular situation, this may be actually the best way to heal this up and work through this energy quickly because the ancestors that I feel coming forward were very had to be very cut off from their emotions or they wouldn't survive, okay? So this is about reconnecting to your emotions. Just start reconnecting to them and it will be very healing. Yeah, uh, Capricorn, you, you may be sad. You may cry. And your tears and the strength of your sorrow may scare you. But allow it to flow out of you as you release it, as you cry, as you get angry. And you don't have to take this out on anyone. You can do this alone. Nobody ever has to know, okay? It's no one's business what you do. Um, and as you connect and release that, you're also releasing this stagnant energy here of lack, of, of failure, of never being able to. It's like I can feel the exhaustion from this bloodline that is... Uh, it's just exhausted at trying, exhausted as a collective of trying to get over and trying to figure it out and moving forward. But the thing is, you can't, you can't really change things on the outside until you change things on the inside. And spirit really, um, really wants to help you with this because this is aligning 
to your life purpose, okay? They're trying to align you with a bigger vision of yourself. So, um, yeah, and the ancestor is coming through. So you may uh, start feeling a presence around you. This could be a mother, grandmother, grandfather, great grand. We could go back. I'm saying I'm, I'm hearing like 10, 15, 20 generations. So these are people who, who had it rough, had it very rough. And uh, it's not as if we're judging the ancestors for what they had to do to survive because it kept, it kept their generations alive, right? But it's time to heal it. And the thing about time is it's, it doesn't really exist. It's an illusion. Um, that's kind of science. So uh, with that said, as you heal this now, you heal it then. And you heal it for the future. You're healing it for your children. They'll be able to have a much more access to opportunity because you're willing to get real. All right. Manifestation. There we go. So this is going to help you manifest some money. I'm hearing money, opportunity, literally what this lack is, it's going to help you manifest the opposite of that. So this lack energy will be gone. It, you will move into an energy where uh, money, opportunity just flows to you. It's very easy the way it flows to you. It just flows in your life, the opportunities, job opportunities. Um, and for some of you, this is going to be a person too. They're not really going into the person, but they're just saying that for some of you, this is, this is love. This is manifesting. This is manifesting something you really want. And, um, but you have to work through this, this, um, this energy of lack and not being good enough to receive good things. Yeah, we're going to get three cards from the language of light the secret language of light i always call this my light deck but that's the name of it this is one of my favorite decks it's got so much positive energy in it Ooh, i'm feeling that come through it's as if a pressure valve has gone off in my heart chakra so i'm feeling a lot of healing coming forward for you just the awareness of this yeah all right so so this is advice to remember. Remember some of the good times, okay? You did have some. We all have. Um, this energy is very heavy in a family. But it also doesn't mean that y'all did not have good things that happened. You know, loving, beautiful things that happened. So remember those. Pull on those. Pull on those relationships you have now. And... Um, Remember the good times. Remember the happiness. It's important that you remember the things you've done for others. There is a there's a um, energy here of your need to be generous. Be generous with yourself and others. Okay, be giving. It will help. It will help overcome this lack because the more you give outward, the more the universe can give to you. Because when you give, you create space. It's like. When you give, part of this energy just kind of dissipates every time. And so that makes room for create space, for abundance, for lack, for it all to come together with the Visca Pisces. I feel this like it all will come together. It will all manifest for you. So, But you just have to um, really connect with some things that make you passionate about life. I feel like Capricorn may have a lack of... Um, of passion, of creativity, and they want you to understand uh, why it's blocked. It's blocked because you don't feel worthy of what it could bring. You don't feel worthy of having a great job. You don't feel worthy of having an amazing person. You don't feel worthy of people coming towards you and um, loving you and liking you and hanging out with you and being real with you. And that's what this process is about, you know, uh, connect to some really, um, with this King of Cups here, remembrance, um, connect to to the people who really love you and care about you. And I'm feeling like there needs to be a real connection. So there's something you may need to get real about with someone, Capricorn, right? And as you get real with someone, it's going to create space for good things to happen, for it to come together and manifest for you. All right? Okay, so that's what I got for you guys, Capricorn. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys if you celebrate the holidays. Um, I hope you have a wonderful holiday, and I will see you next time. 
Bye guys. Subscribe.